What is going on, people? It's your boy GT. So, on. why in the hell do you think I am today? But today, we are back again, once again, with another video reaction. This time, it's top 10 anime that everyone needs to watch, courtesy of one of the main top 10 list channels, top 20 list channels ever made. Watch Mojo. Hold on, Gina. Oh, shit. Mainly making this video clearly to see where their heads are. And I know when it comes to Watch Mojo, the, the majority of the time they make videos, it always comes down to the fans voting for them. And that's fine. That's wholeheartedly understandable and things of that nature. But all I'm saying is, is like, if you know your anime, you know your anime. If you don't know your anime, you don't know your anime. And the reason I'm saying that, because a long time ago, when I watched a, a Watch Mojo video i forgot which video it was all i know is that it's funny how watch mojo was talking about pokemon yet they had a screenshot from digimon when i watched that i cringed like a motherfucker but anywho it's not the here nor that we're gonna go ahead and get right into it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't like this video please give it a thumbs down I really don't give a fuck and as always you know like comment subscribe all that good jazz i'm gonna say it at the beginning i'm gonna say it at the end also if you want to follow me on other social medias uh they'll all be in the description below also the original video link will be in the description if you don't want to watch my shit and you just happen to pass over this video but you know watch mojo is actually pretty Big. So whatever, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Now Ash, I will give Ash credit. Ash knows his anime. Ash knows his anime. Cold Geass, my number one favorite anime of all time. Gurren Lagon. Valley. Steins Gate is on my list. Especially in a series that trades out the grandiose spectacle large scale fights for time travel, techno jargon, and character introspection. Any, almost any Gundam. Gundam has exploded into a franchise that can be more than a little confusing to the uninitiated, which is why, should you feel compelled to check out at least one, we can't recommend the original enough. I mean, the original is dope. I mean, the handwritten animation shows you that it's a product of its time. Yeah, Shars that dude. Shars that dude. And fuck Makuve. I think no, that's not Makuve. Of course, number eight. Boy, if you don't. All oh, the casuals are pissed. The casuals are pissed. Not the Dragon Ball franchise hitting number eight. Just number eight. That's a bold move, Watch Mojo. I give you that much. That's a bold move. Wow. The Dragon Ball franchise only hit number eight. The casuals are going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> 
But let's get back to the list. Epic battles, tournaments, power scaling, aliens, witch granting dragons, and a crazy amount of fun. As the granddaddy of Shonen, plenty of today's fantasy fight fests owe their success. I wouldn't necessarily call it the granddaddy of Shonen. Well, yeah, I'll call it the granddaddy of Shonen. But I'll call Astro Boy the great granddaddy of Shonen. And Dragon Ball is my favorite franchise. In fact, comment below. Tell me what is your favorite version of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT. Hell, we got some fans like that out there. All the way to battling the multiverse in Super. That broke the internet. The final episode of Dragon Ball Super broke Crunchyroll. I agree. Attack on Titan is valid. Gets thrown around a lot, but there are scarcely few who deserve the title more than this darkest of anime explorations. In a world where humans have barricaded themselves behind walls, their ongoing struggle against the looming threat of humanoid monstrosities known as Titans is suddenly flipped on its head when the bitter truth of their existence is slowly revealed. can be poured onto this series from how each season shifts genre to the raw brutality of its fights but its real strength lies in its storytelling just when you think you've got a grasp on where it's going it takes another enthralling yet depressing tangent it's a rumbling that you can't afford to miss Six, Hunter, Hunter. Hunter Hunter is also valid. anime for so long and polishing them to a beautiful finish. Gone's seemingly simple journey to become a hunter and find his father exploded into a multifaceted thrill ride that gave fans of the genre everything they could want. Facts. A sprawling world, unique villains, immense character growth, the most intricate of power systems, and even cycles cliches, it does so in the most unconventional of ways. You finally punched the soaker. Only a treat worthy of darting into. The only downside being you'll be trapped with the rest of us waiting for the sequel that will never arrive. Number five, Guren Lagan. I also agree, Guren Lagan is valid. Heavy or complicated with its plotting. Sometimes it just needs to feature giant robots the size of four galaxies pummeling the bejesus out of each other. Simon versus the anti spiral was actually a really good fight to watch. Cowboy Bebop is valid. Steve Bloom did a phenomenal job as the voice of Spike Spiegel. Dealing 
with the gaping holes left by their pests, or getting high as bulls on mushrooms, there's odd <laughs> to be found in every corner of Bebop. Hey, mister. This here is the stairway to heaven. You know that, don't you? The Ballad of Fallen Angels alone is an exquisite example of why it's looked upon with such esteem. It's clean. Number three, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. No. Has satisfying narrative experience. Want a fantasy that dabbles in something wholly original? Something that balances flashy fights with killer commentary on militarism, sacrifice, and retribution? The Elric brothers have got you covered. For Malcolm's Brotherhood, yeah, it's valid. But damn, it's number three? I mean, there was a time that watch Mojo called this like the number one favorite anime of all time, but now it's number three? I'm more anticipating on what number one he is now. Brotherhood truly has something for everyone. Number two, one, one piece. The idea of tackling over a thousand episodes of a single series might sound like a daunting task, but if there's one property worthy of taking the plunge for, it's one piece. I figured One Piece would be number one, but it's not number one. So, what could be number one? Initially appear as a colorful tale of pirates on the high sea. The truth is that the world Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hat crew inhabits is one of the most widespread, well-woven, and interconnected ever to be realized in animation. Wild and wacky, yet never without some measure of grit to tie it all together, the search for Gold Roger's infamous treasure continues to innovate and amaze, even decades on. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our I wish they would... Uh, I wish they would uh say, hey, just remember, this does have over a thousand something episodes. So what is number one? Neon Genesis is even Galleon? Really? 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 Wow. I am shocked. It's ever that simple with the series chronicling each pilot's inner turmoil and struggles. All of which I am shocked. And yet we wouldn't hesitate to watch Shinji get in the robot once again. I am shocked. The motherfucker right now. I am I am I am I am desperately shocked. Like straight up. I am very shocked at the fact the matter is that they decided to choose Neon Genesis Evangelion as number one. Mind you, this video is not old, guys. This video just came out like three days ago. Like well, I mean like the Watch Mojo video. The Watch Mojo video came out three days ago this list in particular came out three days ago and the number one anime they choose to where everyone needs to watch is neon genesis evangelion now i don't have no qualms or no problems about it with neon genesis evangelion it's just that the problem with neon genesis evangelion is it falls under the category of it being a mech series and among most casuals and anime fans alike they ain't really fucking with mech series like that. Now, I'm not saying mech series are bad. Of course not. Code Geass is my number one favorite anime of all time. So, so yeah. Now, I will say this. You said, you know, you know what some of the main 
things I'm surprised they didn't say. They didn't say Naruto. They didn't say Bleach. They didn't say Death Note. They didn't say any of those things. Now, I'm not upset. I'm not. Because because the simple fact being is that this is their list. Everyone's subject to their list. And I know they're like, oh well, GT, you're so upset. You should make a list yourself. Maybe I will. But only but 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 only if but but only if I get enough traction. Um but man, all I gotta say is like I would bro, I'm sorry. I'm 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 just so surprised at the fact that the anime that they chose that everyone needs to watch is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Steins Gate number 10. Like, Jesus, I ain't see any of no Naruto, no Bleach, no Death Note, no nothing. That's crazy. That's that's interesting. That is very, 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 very interesting. It's just, I was shocked. I, well, I was shocked at two things. I was shocked that Full Malcolm's Brotherhood was not, like, number one. Because it's like what I said, at one point in time, once again, at one point in time, like, someone legitimately said... Uh, someone watch Mojo. They say it like you know their their top their their top ten favorite anime or number one favorite anime of all time. Full Man Alchemist Brotherhood. That's what Watch Mojo said. I don't have an issue with that, but the fact that it was number three and the fact that you put Dragon Ball at number eight, that's crazy. I know casuals are like this, like this, like this, like delete, delete, tomato, 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 throw tomatoes at it. Like Jesus Christ. But hey, all I gotta say is that this was a it was a pretty valid video. Once again, this is Watch Mojo's video. And once again, most of their videos and the decisions that they make come through a vote, a voting poll, if I'm not mistaken. I think I've seen them. Uh, now, I don't know if they're still doing voting polls or not. You can let me know in the comments below. But yeah. Um, but hey, what are your top? What, what, what animes do you feel like needed to be on this list? Like, like, like real talk. Because not nah, honestly, I felt like... Some of the animes that need to be on this list. Uh, but once again, this is Watch Mojo's list. Um, and how come they don't do honorable mentions like that no more? Like, 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 uh, like, like, Watch Mojo used to do a lot of honorable mentions, but now they don't anymore. And it's kind of sad because I feel like if you did honorable mentions, you know, you put Death Note in there, you put, um, you know, Naruto in there, you put Bleach in there, you put all of them in there. But that's crazy. But anyway, guys, this means GT is one. Why the hell do you think I am? You guys always make sure to do it. Make sure is what you're here for. Don't forget to like the video, comment the video, share the video, and subscribe if you like the content. Also, hit the bell notification if you don't want to miss any of my videos. But anyway, guys, this means GT is who I am. Why? Because who the hell do you think I am? And as always, just comment below. Criticism is always welcome. Just don't be an asshole. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs>